the weather on Earth can be unpredictable, but it pales in comparison to the cataclysms unfolding on other planets in our solar system. Venus, for example, is uniquely hellish. The hottest planet in our solar system is surrounded by clouds made up of sulfur dioxide that hold droplets of sulfuric acid. Meanwhile, Mars has experienced dust storms that engulf the entire planet and can last months. And far out in the depths of the solar system, Neptune is constantly whipped by supersonic winds reaching over 1,200 miles per hour. But of all the planets, Jupiter is home to one of the most mysterious weather phenomena, a massive anticyclone called the Great Red Spot. Scientists are closely watching this centuries-old storm because it could soon disappear. The GRS is scientifically referred to as an anticyclone due to its counterclockwise rotation. Anticyclones look and act similar to tropical cyclones we experience on our planet that bring triple-digit wind speeds and leave large-scale destruction. Earth cyclones develop and grow over oceans but break up shortly after making landfall, in part because of an increase of friction from the land. The longest tropical cyclone on Earth lasted 31 days, while anticyclones can last for hundreds of years. Since the Jovian planet is composed primarily of hydrogen and helium gas, it's believed that there isn't any land to help dissipate winds, so anticyclones continue to grow, and in some cases, merge into even bigger systems. The GRS has consumed its fair share of smaller storms, earning its title as the largest anticyclone in our solar system. It's about 10,000 miles wide and is estimated to penetrate about 200 miles into Jupiter's atmosphere. But new research suggests that it could go even deeper. Basically, it's big enough to swallow Earth whole. The anticyclone is wedged between two air currents or jet streams that move in opposite directions. These conveyor belts keep the massive oval spinning, which fuels the momentum of the vortex. But the Great Red Spot may not last forever, and some scientists believe it might even vanish in the next two decades. When it was observed in the late 1800s, the GRS was estimated to be over 25,000 miles across. In the late 1970s, NASA's Voyagers 1 and 2 flybys measured it at 14,500 miles across. Then in the 1990s, a Hubble Space Telescope photo showed the GRS at about 13,000 miles across. And in the late 2000s, a photo measured it at around 11,000 miles. And most recently, in 2017, NASA's Juno probe observed the GRS at its smallest size ever recorded. Over the next couple of decades, it's believed the Great Red Spot will shrink in longitude and become more circular. It could stay that way for many years, but if the GRS becomes too elongated, the jet streams could rip the anticyclone apart. Now, the disappearance of this iconic red spot is only theoretical, but if it does vanish, it could give us a better understanding of Jupiter's atmosphere and may even give us a view into the core of the gas giant. On top of that, studying the Great Red Spot and other bizarre weather phenomena throughout the solar system could help us gain a deeper understanding of the fluctuating weather patterns on Earth.